outside edge for the second time in the match. Darren Gander goes to a slip catch. Matthew Hoggard is rewarded. He's bowled well this morning. Both the bowlers have bowled well. Pushing at it, it's a little wide. Graham Thorpe takes the catch, takes it well. Darren Ganger has gone, he's gone for 11, it's 34 for two. There he goes. That's the end of Sarwan. Further award for Matthew Hoggard's consistency. It's a long walk home now for Sarwan. Have a look at this, Sarwan is coming forward, he thinks it's up there for the drive. Just the movement after pitching takes it to the outer half of the bat. It's 4-5 for three. That's going to be close. It's close enough for umpire Daryl Hare. Sidnaran Chandapal doesn't even survive his first ball. West Indies once again are in disarray. And it's all about the length again. It's well pitched up. It has pitched in line, which is the important thing, and straightened. That's plumb. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. The length again is uh, what is defeating the batsmen. Well pitched up delivery. That's the length you want with bowling on this surface. It's 45 for four. Short leg is in there. Three slips, two gullies. Yeah! It's got in. Matthew Hogarth's got a hat trick. England in the ascendant yet again. What a magic moment for Matthew Hoggard. Ryan Hines has to go. It's a straightforward catch to slip. England absolutely jubilant. It's another collapse for West Indies. How oh, this game has changed in just space of three deliveries. And what magnificent bowling by Matthew Hoggard.